Unit 10 still, and here we're talking about heart stimulant drugs. They're called digitalis drugs or cardiac glycosides. Now, there's several questions on your exam about these, so listen up. These drugs are called heart stimulants, but they work in the heart. They stimulate the heart to beat slower. What? How can it be a heart stimulant that's making the heart beat slower? Hang on there, cowboy. But harder with more force so that more blood is pumped with every beat. You got to learn that phrase, okay? These drugs stimulate the heart to be slower, but with more force, harder, more complete. It really pushes that blood through so that more blood is pumped with every beat. Okay? Cardiac glycosides are also called digitalis drugs. They're also called heart stimulants. They work to make the heart beat slower, but harder and more complete so that more blood's pumped with every beat. Now, example, digoxin, which name brand is Lenoxin, O-X-O-X. -X. Dig, digitalis drugs, dig. Okay? Now, digoxin and digitoxin are not the same. You can't use them interchangeably. They are this, they're brothers, but they're not exactly the same. They do not, they're not the same milligram per milligram, okay? Digoxin and lenoxin are by far the more popular, more common that you would see. Side effects. These drugs are dangerous. These drugs. <laughs> These drugs are really dangerous, okay? You're gonna be given them. You need to know this. So, these drugs you can go toxic on fast, and you need to be aware of that. You need to take their pulse right before you administer the drug. It is not okay to take last shift's CNA's pulse. Not okay. You need to go take that right before you administer it. And you need to do that before you pop the pill. Because if they take five or six different meds and you put them all in that med cup, you go down there and you take Marjorie's pulse and it's 50, you can't administer that. What are you going to do? Dig through it and try and figure out which one it is and pull it out? Not acceptable. Now you're practicing as a pharmacist and you don't have that license. You can't do that. So you need to take that pulse, then pop the meds and go administer it. That pulse needs to be taken no more than two hours. Maximum. Really, you should take that pulse and then go get the meds ready. There shouldn't be a lot of time that passes in between. Now, here are your signs and symptoms that someone is going toxic. Bradycardia. What did I tell you bradycardia was? Be careful naming your boy Brady because it means slow in Latin. That's right. So it's a pulse below 60. Generally, the rule of thumb is you should not administer a digitalis drug if the pulse is below 60. Sometimes a physician will write, may administer at 56, something like that. If it doesn't say that, it's 60. I would never administer that without, and if your nurse says, yeah, go ahead and give it, it's really not appropriate for a med aide to give it below 60. Maybe your nurse might want to give it, okay? But bradycardia is your first sign that they're going toxic. Your second sign is GI upset and a halo sign. A halo sign. Mm -hmm. So they get kind of a GI upset and then, I've only seen this once, but it was so interesting. I learned a lesson from that one. The woman's name was Marjorie and she was way down at the end of the hall. And so I, I popped all the meds and I went down there 
and I'm taking her pulse and I'm counting her pulse and it's starting to occur to me that her pulse is kind of slow and she looks at me and she goes, oh, you're an angel. And I said, well, Marjorie, you and I both know that's a stretch, but thank you anyway. And then I said, Marjorie, did you see kind of a yellowy green glow here? She said, yes. Ooh. So then I finished taking her pulse and it was like 56, 54, somewhere in there. I was like, oh my gosh. And so I went back up there and I had that exact problem. Great, now I got a cup full of meds. Yeah. So that's why you should always take the pulse, then pop the meds on that. And then the other thing is, had she not been able to tell me that she saw that halo sign, and it's not like, you know, a circular ring up here on top of your head. It's just kind of a, a glow that the lights cause because of, the visual effect, okay? So, if she had not been able to tell me that, perhaps she might have had a stroke or something and couldn't tell me that, or dementia. If you don't do a good pulse, you wouldn't know that, and you miss it. That's why it's important to take a good pulse, okay? And then the third one is a lethal dysrhythmia. This might be bigeminy or trigeminy or just a very dangerous dysrhythmia. And once they get here, <laughs> they could die. So that's why it is very important to look out for these signs and symptoms because folks go toxic on these drugs very easily. And those are your cardiac glycosides, heart stimulants, digitalis drugs.